Hi, this is Steve from Ultraceps Color Separation Software. And uh, there's one question that I always get, and that is how to add the data from one channel uh, to the white underbase so that channel prints brighter. You know, therefore, there would be more white ink underneath that color. And although I think I have another video on adjusting and working with white underbases, it's, a, it's much more complex. So we're just going to give you a few simple examples here of what to do. Uh, now here we have a, a very basic separation. Okay, it's uh, six colors. We have a white underbase, a yellow, a blue, a green, a red, and, and a black. Okay, and we have two white underbases here. We have the normal white underbase, and we have a white underbase that I intentionally uh, damaged to a certain extent. Now, here's the uh, white underbase without any damage. And here's the white underbase where I've taken away some of the green data to use as an example. Now, let's say this, if this is how the underbase rendered, and you had a color here, uh, a bright color on top, that you know you needed more white ink in this area. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very, very simple. Now, what you would do is you would select your white underbase, and then you would go up to uh, Image. Apply image in Photoshop. Now, when apply image uh, window appears, you would select the channel you want to add. In this case, we want to add the green 354 channel to the white underbase. Now, if I turn the preview off, this is how the underbase looked previously. And if I put it on now, you can see that all that green data has been added to the underbase. Now, it's, to do this, it's important to select the blending mode of multiply. That will add. And another important thing to remember here is there's also an opacity setting. Sometimes you don't want to add 100% of the data from that one channel to the underbase. So this could be cut back, let's say, to 50%, to 70%, or whatever. And if you sort of have a feeling of how dense the white ink needs to be under a given color to get good performance on press, you could easily check this in Photoshop. Now, if I just hover any tool over the white underbase here within the area we adjust it, look up here in the info panel. As you can see, it was 22% before, and now we have 63% ink in here. By going up higher, let's say to 90%, now we're going up to 75% ink. Click OK, and that's how we have our underbase adjusted. Now let's undo that, and let's turn on the uh, shirt background and the other channels. Now this is with the uh, underbase that does not contain enough green data to it. And now let's go to our history panel and redo that apply image and you can see the difference right away. That's before we applied the green data to the white underbase and after. Okay, and another question I get, although not quite as frequent, is how to remove a specific color from a channel from an underbase or from another color. Uh, which you'll probably find yourself doing more than removing it from the base. And it all works the same way, and I'll show you here. We'll select this white underbase, and now we'll go up to Image, Apply Image again, okay? And we're going to select that same green 354 channel, but this time we're going to change the blending mode to Screen, okay? Now let's change the opacity to 100%, and it's important to hit the Invert button. Now, as you can see, when I turn Preview on and off, that green has been effectively removed, or at least most of it, from the white uh, underbase channel. Now, if we hover over the white underbase, you can see at one time we did have 75% white there. Now we only have 19%. If you'd like to remove it yet further, we could go to Image, Apply Image, and just run the same sequence. 
apply the green 354 channel, the blending mode of screen with invert checked, and now we have 5% white, which is nothing, which is basically all gone, and click OK. Okay, now we're going to discuss another method, a very simple method, for removing the data from one channel from the other base, or from any other channel for that matter. And um, we're going to work with the green uh, 354 channel again. And we'll, what we're going to do here is control click the channel. Now by control clicking the channel, it loads the channel as a selection. As you can see, the marching ants going around the green in the pie chart. Okay. Uh, once loaded as a selection, make sure your foreground color is black, and mo most importantly, your background color is white. If this was reversed, you would uh, essentially be adding data to the white underbase. So now, let's make sure the white underbase is selected, and hit the delete key. And um, you can see that it removed uh, the green data, or just about all of it. So now we're down from 19 to 19% from about 75%. If you want to remove more of it, hit the delete key again. Now you see in the info palette up here, we're down to 5%. Want to remove yet more? Hit it again. Now we're down to 1%, and it's basically gone. Uh, so all the data has been removed. Now on a Mac... Uh, the only difference would be, as opposed to control-clicking uh, the channel, you would command-click the channel. Okay, now let's uh, undo what we've, uh, we've done here and deselect that. And there's one other thing that um, I'd like to uh, discuss with you, is that many printers would want to remove the black ink from the white underbase channel to assist in not having to run black uh, when printing an image on a uh, on a black t-shirt now although I normally recommend printing black even when printing black shirts um, it does help the contrast and the prints going to look a lot better uh, sometimes you know you just don't have the room you don't have the head you can't run the black ink too and the simple method that I have just shown to you on removing data from the underbase by control clicking to load a channel as a selection and then deleting that from the white underbase is probably the best method to remove black data. Now this file here is not a good example because we don't have a lot of black data uh, within this channel, but I'll give you an example. Now let's control click the black channel and the black channel is now loaded as a selection. Now when doing this, make sure you don't actually control click the channel name itself. Click to the right of it. Now let's select our white underbase, making sure our foreground color is black and background color is white. And let and all you need to do is hit delete. And you can hit delete as many times as you want. And that that will continue to remove black ink data from the white underbase. And that's about it. I'm just going to keep this one short. That's a simple lesson in, on how to use basic functions of apply image and also loading a channel as a selection to delete that data either from the white underbase channel or from another channel within your color separation. And uh, if you need more information about color separation, check out ultraseps.com and uh, download a trial version to uh, our separation program there. Ultraseps is the number one product in use globally by well over 7,000 screen printers at the time of this video. Thank you very much. See you next time.